in the last lecture we had discussion on linear and non linear discrete time systems and now in this lecture we will understand how to find out if the given discrete time system is a stable system or an unstable system and for this we are required to understand BIBO criteria that is bounded input bounded output criteria and we have already completed bounded input bounded output criteria in the chapter continuous time systems so here we are simply revising it one more time according to this criteria for a stable system the output should be bounded for bounded input at each and every instant of time now let's try to understand this statement in detail we are having bounded input this means the amplitude of the input signal is finite this means the amplitude of the input signal is having the finite value from minus infinity to plus infinity because we are checking at each and every instant of time similarly bounded output means the amplitude of the output signal is finite from minus infinity to plus infinity now according to this statement if there is a system and to this system you are providing the bounded input you are providing the bounded input this means the input signal having the finite amplitude from minus infinity to plus infinity and if you are getting the output having the finite amplitude from minus infinity to infinity this means you are getting the bounded output so for bounded input you are getting the bounded output and therefore the system you are having is a stable system and we call this system bounded input bounded output stable system and similarly you can think of the unstable system if you are providing the bounded input if you are providing the bounded input to a system and you are getting the unbounded output this means if at any instant of time the amplitude of the output signal is reaching to infinity then the output will be unbounded so for bounded input you are getting the unbounded output therefore the system we are having is unstable system so i hope you now understand what do we mean by bibo stability and now let us solve few examples to understand what we have discussed in the first example output signal yn is equal to the input signal xn square and we know the fact that to check for bibo criteria we provide the bounded input therefore let's say the input signal xn is equal to some finite value and therefore we can say that the output signal yn will be equal to the square of the finite value so yn is equal to the finite value squared and we know when we square the finite value we are going to get the finite value so the output signal that is yn is equal to the finite value and we are getting yn as finite value when we provided xn as finite value so xn that is input is bounded and we are getting yn that is output also bounded therefore we can say that the discrete time system having this relationship is bounded input bounded output stable let's move on to the second example in the second example output signal yn is equal to n multiplied to input signal xn 
we will follow the same process we will take our input signal xn equal to some finite value and for this we will observe what will be yn yn according to the given relationship will be n times the finite value now when n approaches to infinity we will have yn yn equal to infinity and this is when n is equal to infinity so you can see that even after providing finite value of the input we are getting infinity as the output therefore for bounded input we are getting the unbounded output this implies the system having this relationship is unstable so this is the answer of the second example now we will move on to the third example in the third example output y n is equal to cos n multiplied to input x n let's take input x n as a finite value and therefore from here we can say that output y n will be equal to cos n multiplied to the finite value we have taken and we know cosine function is having the values from minus 1 to plus 1 including 0 therefore we can say that the output y n is equal to minus of the finite value we have taken for signal x n to plus of finite value so y n will be from minus of finite value to plus of finite value and this implies it is bounded so for bounded input we are getting the bounded output and this implies the system we are having is stable system now let's move on to the fourth and the last example in the fourth example we are having output y n is equal to the input x n divided by sine n now we will take x n as some finite value this implies output y n is equal to the finite value we have taken divided by minus 1 to plus 1 because we know the sine function will have the values from minus 1 to plus 1 now we will consider the case when sine n is equal to 0 we have different values but for some values of n we will have sine n equal to 0 and whenever this happens you can see that we are dividing finite value by 0 this means we are going to get the result as undefined and when sine n is approaching to 0 y n will approach to infinity therefore we can say that for bounded input we are getting the unbounded output and this implies the system we are having here is unstable so this is all for the examples and now we will move on to the homework problems there are three homework problems for you in the first homework problem in the first homework problem y n is equal to x n multiplied to n square in the second homework problem y n is equal to 2 power n multiplied to the input signal x n and in the third homework problem output y n is equal to the even part of input signal x n so try to find out whether the systems having these three relationships are stable or unstable